Is this in the road? We're good? Okay. So, welcome to Management Accounting 2. What's uh, very important about this course is that it really doesn't affect just one part of the organisation. Many of the courses that you have done in university relate to marketing, HR, maybe operations management, maybe finance or accounting. And there are particular courses that really focus on those operations in the firm. This course, Management Accounting 2, is the second of two Management Accounting courses that accounting major students have to study for the, uh, in order to join the student program for the qualifying program for the HKI CPA. So if you want to become an accountant, you have to do these two Management Accounting courses. So how is Management Accounting 2, or Management Accounting in general, different from the other discipline courses that many of you have already studied or, or at least studied introductions to or even read about by googling or the Wikipedia. Management accounting really covers all areas of the organisation. We are looking at providing information for economic decision making in the organisation. So for example, if we are working out how to price a product, we may consider, well, what is the price of the product in the market, but at the same time we need to think about what is the cost of making the product. And management accounting is approach is to give information to help work out well, what is the profit margin of a product by understanding how we're allocating costs to the product and through management accounting too we will talk about different ways of allocating cost to products so we can make better decisions, more accurate decisions about product pricing, about which products to sell to the market, about which products not to sell to the market. But management accounting is more than that. Management accounting also affects the operations inside the organisation. How we allocate costs to different activities in the organisation, different services that are provided. For example, the cost of the land and buildings, the cost of the rent that you pay for the office each week, each month, can be very expensive. How do you allocate that to the marketing department? What about the front office? How do you allocate that to the back office, the IT, the accounting department? How do you make, how do you know to give more space to one department and less space to another? Ultimately, if marketing department, you're providing marketing services, for example, marketing department may want to know, well, how much does it cost to run this service, to provide this service? Well, then we need to allocate costs to the people to the floor space that is operating in your office to work out what that service cost is. So there are a lot of cost allocation issues that we need to deal with even if we are not making a product and in Management Accounting too, we will look at uh, cost allocations. There are a lot of other areas in which Management Accounting can help organisations um, make better decisions. Another area is in human resource management. In human resource management we're interested in how, how do we motivate the employees, how do we select the employees, how do we develop them, how do we deselect them. There are many things to do with HR. But management accounting can give, give information about uh, the amount of risk involved with the activities of for example, sales employees undertake. And if we can understand that risk, that is, the variance in the outcomes of their activities, then we can be in a better position to design a compensation scheme that incentivizes the sales activity in the organization. So management accounting gives information for helping to design compensation schemes to help incentivize people inside the organization. So I've given you three examples, three concrete examples of how management accounting can help organizations. We will cover those examples in management accounting too. The other things we want to look at in management accounting too is how particularly in manufacturing organizations in China they're facing a lot of challenges and the thing is that any organization, if you're feeling a cost challenge 
or competitive challenge or a market challenge. In some ways they're the same kind of challenge because you've got to do more with less. You've got to sell something of the same standard for less than what you did a year before. Maybe because uh, technology has enabled you to reduce costs or your customer has forced you to reduce the cost depending if you're the final end producer or an early or upstream supplier to uh, to some product. Okay, so management accounting can help in organizations facing these challenges. So we're going to talk about the challenges that Chinese firms Chinese firms face in China currently that we've done through interviews with over 600 Chinese uh, suppliers in China and how they responding to them. Some of them are responding to them in terms of the scale of operations. Others are responding in terms of how they manage the operations. And others are responding in terms of how they manage the relationship with their network that they work with. Management accounting can give information on each of these responses to the challenges. And we're going to talk about that in management accounting to this semester. So we're going to try and bring some more practicality into the teaching of the management accounting too through my most recent uh, interviews and visits to Chinese manufacturers uh, just across the border in Hong Kong. Okay, thank you.